All right, so we got the car all packed up, and we're headed to Philadelphia. <laughs> no, we're heading to North Carolina. So, uh, vacation commence. Well, first night, well, let's do this. First day of vacation, first night of vacation went is exactly how I feared social pressures and, and uh, constant terms of relaxation. So I drank a little bit, I made some uh, poor choices, but uh, now we're gonna go out to a bike ride. We're gonna go out to Brunswick Nature Forest, Nature Park, I think it's called. Oh, it rained so much last night, so hopefully the watershed dried off a little bit. Okay. 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 Well, the weekend didn't go as planned. Um, I definitely got off track with the vacation and the um, temptations that are available typically on vacation, but that's okay. Today is Monday. So um, I don't have a scale with me, so I won't be doing a full weigh in Wednesday. But uh, you know we'll be able to weigh back when we get home, and I want to keep all variables constant. So, but it's it's back to the grind. Even though we're still technically on vacation, we're going to try. I'm going to try to make some better choices and some better decisions when it comes to what we're eating and what we're drinking, of course. So um, yeah, it was fun, but I don't want to undo any hard work that we're going to put forth in the future or what we've already done. So. Skinny girl margaritas. <laughs> yeah, skinny girl margaritas for sure. But um, yeah, so we're gonna get some riding done today. Yeah, a little log jump here. Woohoo! Another one. Woohoo! So as far as weigh-in Wednesday goes, of course, we were out on Monday, and you guys, you guys know, my weigh-in day is Monday, so that way I can edit the video and have it up by Wednesday. So we're gonna call it a bye week. Um, I'm not gonna get discouraged, I really don't wanna do that. But instead, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll with the punches. And I know that I went off track. Um, I certainly ate a lot of sugar, had a lot of adult beverages, if you will, because I'm over 21. And uh, I showed some irresponsibility in that. But that's okay. I'm not gonna let that get me down and I'm not gonna let that set me back. Now one thing I definitely struggled with was continuing to plan and to prep uh, while I was on vacation. And uh, you know, it, that was all hindsight when I think about it because of the fact that we were sitting there eating fast food on the road, you know, it's on the road, you didn't plan. And I'm sitting there uh, walking this guy, right, at a rest stop. And I'm like, there are picnic tables there. I've got a camp stove and a camp grill there is no reason we shouldn't be planning what we want to eat and what we should be eating while on the road. And um, I was sitting there just regretting everything about eating my dinner, eating some uh, some chicken tenders at KFC. But, you know, as they say, hindsight is twenty twenty, and I know for the future. So I talked to Mackenzie, my wife, and... Um, the next time we travel, we're gonna try it. We're gonna we're gonna bring the food to make a picnic and have a family family picnic, because this is certainly a long journey of of weight loss and to get fit and to be happy and healthy, and to make that journey possible and make the destination possible, um, then we may need to take the right steps to do that. So um, you know, cooking on the side of the road, that could be in our near future for sure. But uh, so for the near future, uh, we're not going to have a weigh-in this week, but we're going to work hard. And so the goal, I'm just going to continue it through to continue to plan and to meal prep as much as possible and to be able to make the right choices and have those choices pre-made so I don't have, ever have to put myself in jeopardy like I certainly did this weekend. But I'm not disappointed. I'm, I'm happy. It felt great to go out of town. It felt great to see some family. Did some awesome things, um, spent time with my wife, 
And those are a part of the things in life that make you well-rounded. So it's not just about your lifestyle when it comes to eating. It's all about the people that you surround yourself with and the things that you surround yourself with and the things that you do with your life that can certainly aid in the happiness. And um, one thing I, I did was I went to the pool, um, which is kind of a big deal for me because I'm not really keen on taking my shirt off in front of other people. And so we're talking 4th of July in a resort style community with thousands of people and a couple hundred people at the pool and I went and it was kind of a big deal for me because body image is a big deal um, how I feel about myself is a big deal uh, and so I kind of just took a leap of faith and I understood that if I keep on track I'm not gonna be this way forever I'm not gonna be overweight and unhappy with the way I look and feel so why not and start why not start enjoying life now and that will certainly be an incentive to continue through the hard times and to keep pushing forward to keep on keeping on man Do Joe Dirt but um it was a good weekend yes I went off a little bit off, off track not too far off but enough to say I'm ready to get home I'm fired up and we're gonna meet our goal this week so um Last week I lost three pounds. We're going to continue this way in week and uh, hope to lose three more. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you don't want to miss a way in Wednesday, make sure you hit that subscribe button and definitely leave me some comments down below. Much love, guys. I'll see you on the trail. Bye. Do puppy. Do puppy.